Hey guys, it's Cannibalistic Toast. Today I am going to give you a Source Filmmaker poster lesson. Now this is for advanced. This is advanced. So if you're a newbie and just getting it or and or just getting into SFM Source Filmmaker, I recommend that you click to both of the links in the description so you can familiarize yourself with Source Filmmaker. But now, I'm going to teach you guys how I made this scene right here. Well, actually, how I made the... Give me a second. How I made this image on my Steam profile. Red Snow. Now, as you can see there is no snow in the SFM environment. I added that in with a third-party program with Photoshop. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Well, no, I'm just going to put a link in the description of the uh, tutorial I followed. But I'm going to show you how to recreate this. All I did was, all I did for the cosmetics was I right clicked on the soldier and I added a Team Fortress item. Now, this gives you a whole range of things that you can add. Like weapons, cos weapons cosmetics, I th no, not kill streak effects. Like you can add all those. And the reason he has four cosmetics on is because I had to substitute the uh, War Pig mask for the Bruiser's bandana. And this is because the war pig and the mask both move as one thing. So what I wanted to do was to make him lift the war pig up. So that's why he has four cosmetics. And uh, it's just simple posing, really. Simple posing and uh, a lot of lights. Like, uh, how I got this. This is the rim light for the... Alright, someone just, uh, messaged me. Okay, this is the rim light for the Liberty Launcher. You can see that it has rim light because there's light coming from here and I wanted to make the effect that the volumetric light up there was hitting the Liberty Launcher right here so what I did was I right clicked on the Liberty Launcher and wait no I expanded its uh, tree and I went to Weapon Bone what I did was I right clicked, DAG Utilities menu, and create lights. As you can see, that created lights. But all we want is the light kit and the rim light. And the intensity should go all the way, almost all the way down. That's exactly what I did. And changed the color, but that's all I really did. So just to give it that nice effect that the volumetric light is coming down onto the Liberty Launcher, which it is, and that should create its own rim light, which it doesn't. But I also added rim lights here to give it the effect that the volumetric light was going into his eyes. And also I posed them very simply, really. It doesn't, it's not that hard. All I did was just right clicked, rig, and then there would be pipe simple here. So that's all I really did, and then it just positioned him accordingly. So, yeah, you just got to make sure the light looks realistic. You see how they have these two trees here? What I did was I put the volumetric light, like, 
I put the volumetric light close to the trees so it would have this volumetric effect. It would be got so it would look like there are god rays. Looks like the moon in this scene is giving out god rays. And that's a very nice effect. And that's what I wanted to create. So as you can see, there are a lot of lights. There's the key light, bounce light, fill light, rim light. Then there's that light, and then there's a fill light. There's another fill light that, I think this is the fill light. Yeah, that's the film light. Yeah, that's the film light. The fill light, not film light. This isn't an animation. Um, that's the fill light that, uh, gives light to this side of the soldier. As you can see, there's no fill light here. So, well, it's being lit up because of the volumetric light up there, but no volumetric light can get back here. So I added a fill light to fill up the soldier's body with light. Well, not not physically, but I I just did it so you could see this part of the soldier's body. And also, I added another light here, near near his pain, his, and uh, I added another fill light there. Not a fill, not a fill light, a rim light. So it would look like the volumetric light is coming down onto that part of the body. This is just a lot of volumetric light and a lot of rim lights. And how you create a rim light? is easy. Here, I will disable lighting and create a new scene down here. Now, I'm just gonna spawn in a model. Let's just say the Fem Scout. Fem Scout should not be all the way up there. The Fem Scout should be here. Oop, nope. Okay, here's the Fem Scout. Let's put her in a dark area. Now, what you gotta do to make simple advanced, well, those two words don't go together, with how to make advanced lighting is to create a light and make sure it's not all the way over there and uh, most people what most people do is just put the light in front of the character you know just create a second second camera for the sake of just for the sake of easiness now what people what most people do when they're not experienced in source filmmaker is they just add a light and they turn down the intensity to uh, give the character light now that is complete bullshit. Like that will not give you a good effect. That will not give you any. That will not give you a good effect. Period. So what you got to do is bring the light to the back of the model. And if there's light coming from this side, if there's this is going to be the rim light, so let's actually rename it. There we go, rim light. Now, this is going to be the rim light. It gives it the bloom effect. Now, you would put the rim light on the side that the light, major light source is coming from. So, for example, example if it was coming from this way it the well it's common sense if the light was coming from this way the rim light would come from that way so let's just position the rim light and then bring up its radius and then turn down the distance that it can go 
Oh, no, that's not how you do that. I forget how to do this. Um, it's been such a... It's been a while. Um, okay, let's just put that there. And, uh... See, it's creating a rim of light that's coming off the model. Now, what you gotta do is create an actual light that the, this is gonna be the light, the big light that is giving the whole scene a light. I'm saying light too much, but this light is gonna be the light that will fill up the entire scene and what I did there was right clicked and disabled shadows so I could have more than eight lights but this is gonna be the big light that covers the entire scene and then usually what I would do is just make it volumetric so it gives it that nice effect I gotta turn down the quadratic attenuation and then position it accordingly and then bring up bring up the field of view and now you can see that the rim light is being reflected it gives it the effect that the rim light is coming off of the big volumetric light and now there's one more light that we're going to use. It's called the fill light. And this fill light is going to fill up the character with light. Well, obviously. And this is where you use that horrible technique that I was talking about where you just turn down the intensity and position the light in front of the character. There you go. Now we have a very good scene with adequate lighting. What I'm gonna do is just make the light more accurate so the rim light or what you could do instead of doing all this is right click on the model No, right click on a body part of the model, for example, the head. Now, you just right click Dag Utilities menu and lights. So, we could just get rid of all these lights and get rid of that key light. Wait, no. <laughs> I did a bad. Now, this light is the volumetric, right? No, that one is. <laughs> I'm losing track of all these lights. And that's normal. <laughs> okay, that's the fill light. That's the volumetric light. So, let's get rid of this light. Let's get rid of this light. So now, you can get rid of the key light from the light kit. Now, we have a nice rim. No, that's not the rim light. I am very, very bad at this. You just turn up the rim light and disable shadows because SFM only allows eight lights. Now, the rim light, what you gotta do is just turn it up according to how close the light source is. For example, this light source is that far away. And depending on how bright it is, depending on how bright the volumetric light is, or regular light is, that will that will determine 
how bright the rim light should be. So, yeah, that's basically it for this uh, tutorial. So, let's just delete all that. Nope. Oh, okay. Alright, that's basically it for this tutorial. And, uh,. Be sure to like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see more of what I do and what I upload. And as always, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff to become part of the Toaster Army. And I will see you guys in the next video, which, must, which should be my latest animation. Goodbye.